Welcome back crafty friends. It's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and I am here today with another video for the Sweet Treats collaboration hosted by Memory Lane Keepsakes. Each month we are given a theme to create a paper crafting project with and it has to follow that theme in some way and include a sweet treat. I will link my past videos in the description box below if you want to go check those out. And for this month, we were given a theme of summer. When I think of the summer, I think of hot days. In fact, just today, it was about 96 and it felt like 104 where I live. I know it could be worse. But for me, that's way too hot. I usually just end up staying inside in the air conditioning. So in the summer, I like to cool off with an ice cream treat when it gets to be that hot. In fact, today I had a Sunday. So I thought it would be good if I would incorporate a popsicle or an ice cream sweet treat into my project this month. Before we get to what I created and then the process video, which will be here shortly, I wanted to remind you that all of the collaborators are listed in the description box below. So make sure you go check them out to see how they incorporated Summer into their paper crafting project. Are you ready to see what I made? I made this quick, clean and simple card. I used the different pattern papers to create my popsicles with, and my sentiment, Let's Chill, was just designed on my computer, and then I printed it on the white cardstock. This seriously was a super quick card. I bet it took me 20 minutes, maybe, after I had everything printed out. I did use foam dots on the three patterned paper popsicles and the two in the back are just adhered straight to the card and that just gave it some dimension and it allowed for me to arrange all five of my popsicles on the front of my top fold card. Let's go ahead and see how I made this. Before I get started with the process, I wanted to show you some of the products that I will be using in today's video. I will also, of course, be using an adhesive and I might pull out some sequins or some gems later to add something to the card. But right now, these are the main items that I will be using. For my paper, I'm going to be using the Echo Park 6x6 Let's Be Mermaid pad. I actually got this on clearance at Hobby Lobby a couple months ago when they had all that stuff like 75% off. And I've pre-chosen my paper, so I'll show you what those are going to be. Some of these are B-sides and some of them are A-sides. For my die cutting, I will be using this Recollection set. It is the pool rific and it has the ice cream cone and popsicle die and then it also has some coordinating stamps to go with it for cardstock i pre-printed my sentiment onto white cardstock and i will have a top fold card so i'll be cutting this in half and then to die cut the base of my popsicles with i have a scrap of craft cardstock and that's just so the popsicle stick part looks more realistic. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be cutting five popsicles. Actually, I'll have 10 total, but I'll have one out of each of the pattern papers and then five out of the craft cardstock. So I'll go do that and I'll be right back. All the die cutting for my popsicles is done. Now what I'm going to do is put these together. And to make my popsicle, I'm just going to trim off the stick on the pattern paper copy. And then I will adhere that on top of one of the craft cardstock copies. Now I'm going to do the adhesive all at once. I'll just be using my little Xyron sticker maker, the little X. And I know that if you are at my channel often, you know I love to use that. I like how it gets adhesive just all nice and even across the entire back. 
of the piece that I need to adhere. And here is the tool that I am talking about. This is the Xyron 150. You can find these at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, just about any place that sells, you know, crafting stuff. And I actually have two of these. I have one that has permanent adhesive and one that has repositionable. And I will be using the permanent for this project. You just feed your piece right into the opening and pull until you see it come out on this side. Or you can look in here and just when you see it disappear, you can put in your next one. Tell me below if you have a Xyron of your own. I have quite a few different sizes and I love them. And you just pull all the way out and tear. Once that is off, of course, you have to rub around the edges and this just gets off any adhesive that's trying to hitchhike on the edge of your piece. You don't want that on your finish card because then it might attract dust or dirt. So there is adhesive just all on the back of that. So I just align it on my craft copy. One popsicle down. Right now I'm just trying to figure out how I want these arranged on the front of the card. Since the stars and the dots are kind of similar, I know they're not really, but in my head they are, I'm going to put those on the outside and have my stripe be the middle or the focal point. And I think my others are probably okay where they're at. Now I only have four and a quarter inches to work with and you can see I have almost, I think it's three and three quarters inches total of popsicles. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my card base and see if I can figure out how I want these arranged on there so it fits. I laid this text out in Microsoft Word and I just made a page that had two columns and set my margins so it would look nice when I did the final print. And I'm just going to cut this in half to four and a quarter inches wide. And then my card is going to be top fold so I'll go ahead and do that. And now I need to figure out how I can get these on my base. Because the popsicles do take up a lot of room, what I'm going to do is adhere these solid colored popsicles just flat on the card base. And then I will use some foam dots to lift up the other ones. And then that will allow the popsicles to overlap just a bit. So what I wanna do now is figure out how far in I want the solid color popsicles to be. I'm going to put each of the popsicles in one and three eighths from the side. So since I will be adhering these straight down, I'm going to get a pencil and just make a small mark where I'm going to place that later. This time I am going to get out my repositionable Xyron. That way I have just a little bit of time to adjust these if I need. Just to help me keep these straight, I'm going to get my ruler back out. Again, I'm just going to press this down very gently so I can adjust it if I need to. Okay. 
I'll be using these small foam squares to adhere my pattern popsicles to the card. And I like these because I can cut a square in half and then it should fit real nicely on the popsicle stick. I'm gonna offset these just a little bit from the solid colored popsicles and that's just so I don't have to worry about a perfectly straight line across. the card is all done. It was super quick and easy. This would be a great card to use scraps on because the die cuts are so little. And if you don't have a way to print a sentiment, you could always use little letter stamps or if you have handwriting that you like, you could write that yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and would like to see me create other paper crafting projects, I hope you'll hit the subscribe button below. And if you're already a regular viewer and subscriber, as always, thank you for stopping back by. You know that I appreciate each and every one of you. Do not forget to go visit all of the other ladies that are listed below to see what they created for this month's Sweet Treats collaboration. I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.